enough to be visiting the Cotswold Distillery in Stoughton, near Shipton on Stour, in the heart of the stunning Cotswold countryside. Even though they are only a young distillery, having only been established in 2014, they have already won several awards. This includes a silver medal in 2015 from the IWSC, a gold medal from the San Francisco World Spirits Competition in 2016, and a coveted award for the best London dry gin bestowed by the World Gin Awards 2016. The fact that such highly revered awards could be given is due to their very experienced, hand-picked team of dedicated distillers. It all started with the dream of American-born Daniel Shaw. Originally a financier in London, he escaped with his family to the Cotswold at weekends. This soon developed into a passion, so much so that they decided to live here full time. This team is dynamic with a huge drive and passion for their craft. They have a healthy respect for tradition, but they are not bound by it as their innovative products tell. <laughs> In the Dutch word Jennifer, the spirit must be at least 37.5% ABV and let juniper be the primary botanical. The spirit for their Cotswold London dry gin starts at 96.3, which is placed in a bespoke Holstein copper still for maceration of three botanicals juniper, angelica root, and coriander seed. This is left for 15 hours overnight. Other botanicals Grapefruit and lime peel, lavender, bay leaves, whole black pepper and cardamom seed are then added before the spirit is slowly heated. Botanicals infuse the liquid and the vapour passes through the still condensing on a cold condensing tower. However young the company is and however new and bespoke their equipment, they still proudly use traditional methods of distilling. The impressive ethos of this company, other than superior artisan spirits as they're a proudly local company, they use the highest quality, locally sourced raw ingredients from organic barley grown on farms to delicate and inventive botanicals. The neat gin has a very smooth sensation. There are bold hits of juniper and pine initially dominating, with a peppery aftertaste. The addition of ice turns the gin opalescent or louche. Now, it increased fennel and aniseed flavours with lingering fresh citrus and suggestions of fragrant lavender. It is recommended you either use a traditional slice of lime or grapefruit and a torn bay leaf. For the more unconventional, a twist of black pepper makes the gin fizz and foam and adds an interesting bite. 